Kind of soccer after they did not win a game for well over a month. Locomotive FC suddenly appears to have flipped the switch at the perfect time. Uh, El Paso defeated rival New Mexico United last Friday to get their second victory in a row. The win moved El Paso into sixth place in the Western Conference playoff race with five matches remaining. Up next is a home class to clash tomorrow with the RGB Toros as they try to make it three consecutive wins as El Paso clings to one of the last playoff spots in the West. They may have turned the train around at the right time. We've clicked and the boys up top have put their chances away. I think we're playing good football at the moment. Um, and right like you said, take, lab, taking our chances, which to win games of football, you need to put the ball in the back of the net. And over the last couple of games, that's happened for us. The culture, the mentality, the change room is so strong. And that's why, and that's why they get themselves six games without a win. That's, they get themselves out of that. Unk, if you love the loco, so I'll pass with an RGV kickoff at 7 p.m. tomorrow at Southwest University Park. Uh, keep winning in the locomotives will maybe hosting a playoff game here in a month or so. Finally, FC Juarez on the road tonight to take on Leon. It was scoreless late in the second half. Carlos Salcedo, a huge blunder, and then Lucas Diorio, the goal past the Juarez keeper as Los Bravos fall 1-0. They're currently in 13th place in Liga MX. They will host Monterrey on Friday. That's your look at sports. We'll be right back after the break.